Hey guys, Travis Gillespie here. In this next set of videos, we're going to be solving for systems of equations. And what we're really getting into is solving for linear equations. Notice there are two variables in both of these equations. And our goal here, our overall goal here, is to find a solution of a system of equations. So what we're really trying to do is find a set of values that are a solution of all the equations. Now there are different methods that you can use in solving systems of equations. The first method we're going to look at is the substitution method. Notice this first equation, y is equal to negative x plus 10. The second equation is y is equal to x plus 2. Well I know one thing, it's kind of hidden right now, but I'm going to show you in a second. But I know y is equal to y. Well I have the variable y right here and I have its expression negative x plus 10, so this stuff, and I also have the variable y down below with this expression, x plus 2. So I know this stuff has to equal this stuff because they're both equal to y. y equals y. So I can substitute one of these expressions in for the variable y on the other equation. So what I'm really doing is setting the expressions equal to one another. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take negative x plus 10 and write it down below. Negative x plus 10 is equal to, well, it's equal to y, but y is also equal to x plus 2. So I'm going to write that down below. x plus 2. From here, it's just a matter of combining like terms and isolating the variable x. So I'm going to circle x with a green pen, negative 1x, and on the other side, I have positive 1x. So I'm going to take negative x and I'm going to add x to both sides. Add x to both sides. And I'm left with 10 is equal to 2x plus 2. Now I'm going to subtract 2 on both sides. Now I have 8. It's equal to 2x. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and this is equal to x. But I want to lead with the variable here, so I'm just going to make a note that x is equal to 4. So I'm going to take 4 and I'm going to substitute it back into x for one of these original equations. I'm going to use the second one because it looks like it's easy to work with. So I have y is equal to 4 plus 2. Well, 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So y is equal to 6. So my solution for the equations, well, when x is 4, y is equal to 6. So I'm going to make that note. When x is 4, y is 6. And I can box this information up. 